Hello there ladies and gents, this is going to be my Elimination Chamber prediction video for tomorrow's night's Elimination Chamber. I don't want to say pay-per-view because it kind of isn't. I think it's only on the WWE Network, so I, 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 it's not really a pay-per-view. Um, <laughs> the event, the special event, let's call it. Um, so basically, um, we've got six currently announced matches. Um, there may be others... I'm not sure, because uh, usually we have seven to eight matches, so there may be others that aren't going to get announced until pretty much the the wrestlers come out to the ring. So uh, I'm only going to speak about obviously the six I know about because I can't magic up a few others. According to uh, WWE.com, on the pre-show it's going to be uh, Miz TV with Daniel Bryan. Not sure how good that's going to be, but uh, regardless, um, that's that. So let's kick it off with the uh, singles matches that don't have any titles on the line. We have Neville versus Bo Dallas. Now, this match I think is one-sided. Um, I think everyone pretty knows who, pretty much knows who's going to win this match. If anyone actually thinks Bo Dallas is going to win this match, I think you need to wake up and smell some coffee because it's not going to happen. It's absolutely not going to happen. Neville is clearly by far going to win this uh, this match against Bo Dallas. There's, it, it just can't go any other way. Um, unless they're starting a feud with Bo Dallas, but I, I don't even think they'd bother with that. I think this is going to be a one-match deal. Neville's going to win and then get out. So that's what I think. Neville is going to win here. And besides the fact he's been impressing since his debut, so it just makes sense for him to win here and propel him up to maybe challenge John Cena for the US belt on one of the John Cena Open Challenges. But again, we'll see what happens there. Okay, the next match we're going to talk about is... Um, we'll go for John Cena versus Kevin Owens. This is uh, obviously a Champions versus Champions match. We've got... Excuse me. We've got the United States Champion versus the NXT Champion. Now, something to note here. Uh, apparently, Kevin Owens has had uh, has signed a main roster deal, uh, meaning he will be transitioning from the main roster, sorry, from the NXT roster to the main roster. Now, this is significant because if they're going to do this now, if he is going to be transitioning from NXT to uh, WWE, there is every chance that this could be the moment where he gets a big win on John Cena and gets catapulted to the main event scene. Let's be honest, if John Cena gets beaten by Kevin Owens tomorrow night, Kevin Owens is made, is is propelled into the title picture as far as I'm concerned. John Cena has held that championship, I believe it's 15 times, I want to say, 15 time world champion. Uh, so if he was to get beaten by Kevin Owens, I mean, Kevin Owens' stock would just friggin' soar. Um, it would just go through the freaking atmosphere. So it's crucial to note that because, you know, before I even knew that, I was thinking, well, Kevin Owens might just, you know, like, uh, lose this match um, and then go back to NXT for a couple of months and then come back to the main roster to give it another go. Um, but now that he's signed that deal, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually undecided with this match because the way I see it ending is probably... Um, a DQ win for John Cena. I think Kevin Owens is going to do the same thing he did with Sami Zayn's, uh, Sami Zayn, um, which is the power bomb onto the um, onto the ring. He, it, it's his go-to move. I, I'm 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 thinking that's probably what's going to happen. He's then going to get DQ'd by the ref, um, you know, or even John Cena will pick up a clean win and then Kevin Owens will attack him and that will prove to be a feud down the road. Um, I think it's crucial to note that, that that Kevin Owens has signed that main roster deal because anything can happen tomorrow night. Uh, and I think it would be amazing if Kevin Owens picked up a win here. I mean, he, as I said, his stock would just soar. So I'm, I'm all for him uh, winning um, the match. I, can't, I don't see him winning it. Again, I think it's going to be a DQ to uh, victory to John Cena. Um, I just think that that's the way that they're going to do it. Um, the next match we're going to talk about is the Divas match, which is Nikki Bella versus Paige versus Naomi. Now, um, a lot of people who watch my prediction videos and my review videos in the past will note that I am a big Paige fan, a huge Paige fan. So if I'm making a prediction, it's usually on Paige when she's in a match. However, this is where I'm going to this is where I'm going to slightly differ to my usual Paige is going to win. 
because Nikki Bella, I think the title needs to be passed to someone else. Um, I think Nikki Bella's had it for way too long now and it needs to be moved on to someone else. Now, the safe option is Paige, uh, but I think having it go to Naomi and then for Paige and Naomi to feud at Money in the Bank and beyond, I think that would be the feud we need to see. So that is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say Naomi to win tomorrow night. Um, I think Paige will have have a very strong showing though, um, but I think ultimately Naomi will get the pin on Nikki Bella, um, and Paige will be, be maybe slide into the ring to just try and stop it, but be moments too late. I think that's probably the, the likely option here. Uh, maybe Tamina will slow Paige down to start to break the count, um, but I do believe it's going to be Naomi to emerge the victor in the Divas Championship, and I think that's the best option because then a Paige Naomi feud would be amazing. I have no doubt in my mind that that would be what's best for business. <laughs> so then we're going to talk about Seth Rollins Dean Ambrose. I'm kind of saving the chamber matches till the end, so we're going to talk about Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Uh, the, 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 the the safe option again is for Seth Rollins to uh, to retain, and I think he is going to retain. The reason why I say that is because in two weeks' time you got Money in the Bank, and I think Dean Ambrose getting the Money in the Bank contract. That is a dangerous, dangerous thing. <laughs> I mean, that would be really good for Dean Ambrose to get that that briefcase. Um, so I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with Seth Rollins retaining and Dean Ambrose to win at Money in the Bank to get that briefcase. Um, but again, I will not be disappointed. Just like with the Divas match, if Paige wins, I will not be disappointed. I would not be disappointed if Dean Ambrose wins. Okay, so let's go to the Tag Team Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Tag Team Championships. We have six teams in this. We have the New Day, the Lucha Dragons, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, the Primetime Players, the Ascension and Los Matadores. Okay, the last two I said, the Ascension and Los Matadores, no, they're not going to win. They're ruled out straight away. With the best win in the world, I just can't see them winning. Uh, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, they gave it to New Day over Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. I can't see them winning. Uh, the New Day... I think their moments passed. I think it's that uh, whole gimmick now has ended. Uh, I think they should be broke up into singles uh, stars again. So that leaves the Lucha Dragons and the Primetime Players. Now, I would not be disappointed if either of these teams win. Uh, I'm going to back the Primetime Players because they did a lot of vignettes um, leading up to this uh, where, they took, where the Primetime Players took the mickey out of other... Um, other tag teams so I think that um, the primetime players probably will pick up the win here uh, the Lucha Dragons though, again I, th I think they're, f they're a phenomenal team I just don't think they're at the point just yet to win the tag team championships but it's coming and it's coming fast um, so while I'd like the Lucha Dragons I'm back in the PTPs and then they can drop the players um, the, the players bit of their name and become the primetime champions i think that'd be quite cool the ptcs you know anyway that's my prediction for that match i think the primetime players will emerge the victor victors there especially with Ty uh, especially well, i was going to say tyson kid but it's not is it especially with um uh what's his name the big guy in that uh the one that goes uh, 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 with the barks and what i can't remember his freaking name um i can't remember his name um Titus O'Neil, that's it, Titus O'Neil, especially with him, I mean, all the others, I mean, him versus Sonata Cesaro would be an amazing match, I'm going to be honest. Uh, we're then going to go to the Intercontinental Championship match, we've got Sheamus, Ryback, R-Truth, King Barrett, Rusev and Dolph Ziggler. Now, best will in the world, R-Truth, you're not going to win this match, <laughs> it's just not going to happen, um, so I'm ruling him out now. Um, Rusev apparently is injured, uh, so we don't know if he's going to be in the match. There's rumours going around that Bray Wyatt might take his spot. There's rumours going around saying that Kevin Owens is going to take his spot and do double duty for the night. But I, 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 I can't see that happening either. Uh, so I'm going to just play this with what I know, and that is that Rusev is in the match. If anything happens, then I've got to get out clause if I'm wrong with this prediction. But I'm going to say with, I'm going to stick with Rusev in this match. Uh, Rusev, with his injury, if he does compete with his injury, he is not going to win the belt. I think that is just given. So we then have Ryback, Sheamus, uh, King Barrett, and Dolph Ziggler. Now apparently Sheamus has just scored a part in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two, uh, as uh, I think it's either Bebop or Rocksteady. I can't remember which. Now if that's the case, he may take some time off to shoot that movie. Um, if he's not shooting it already, 
So, with the best will in the world, I can't see them giving him a title when he's when he might have to be gone for a couple of weeks to shoot a movie. So I'm going to say no to Seamus. Uh, so that leaves us with Ryback, King Barrett and Dolph Ziggler. Now, this is where I'm going to stop with ruling people out. Um, we're, gonna, we're left with three, Ryback, King Barrett and Dolph Ziggler. Now, if WWE is going to be safe about it, if they're going to be totally safe... I think King Barrett, Dolph Ziggler, they're your safe options. They've had the belt before. Um, they can step into the into that championship spot and pretty much be okay. But I will mention this. Rusev and Dolph Ziggler are in a feud at the moment over the whole Lana thing. So I think maybe might might what what might happen is Rusev might beat Dolph Ziggler, get the one, two, three, Dolph Ziggler is eliminated, Rusev will then get eliminated, which then if that happens leaves King Barrett and Ryback in my scenario here. Um, so King Barrett as the Intercontinental Championship, no, I don't think he needs it. I don't want him to have it, I don't want him anywhere near it. I am backing Ryback, and I know that's going to be an unpopular decision, and I know I'm going to be wrong, but I think Ryback as the Intercontinental Championship, as the Intercontinental Champion rather, would be an amazing champion. He hasn't had a champion be championship before, and he is a. They can fix if he, if he it doesn't work out. If he doesn't, if he's not that good as the Intercontinental Championship, as the Intercontinental Champion, even. Two weeks down the line, money in the bank. The cha championship can be moved if, if, if need be. If people genuinely do not like Ryback as the champion, but I think at least give him a chance. Apparently, he was going to get a push a couple of year, about a year ago, but that never happened. So it'd be interesting if they decide to give him a push this time. Slap the belt on him. Let him have it for a, you know a couple of weeks. See what happens. See if people take to it. But I think. I think having either Seamus King Barrett or Dolph Ziggler as the Intercontinental Champion, I think it's a safe option for WWE. And do WWE want to be safe? That's that's the question. I think they could park the Intercontinental Championship on either of them three, but really nothing would come of it. Look at what they've done with the US Championship with John Cena, with the US Open Challenge. Uh, that championship actually genuinely means something now people get excited when John Cena comes out to see oh who's going to be challenging him today so I think crucially with that United States Championship that should stay whoever has the belt I think they should have to defend it every week I think that and I know people are probably going to be like yeah but that's getting to like hardcore championship status and uh, it's getting a bit boring that it got a bit boring that but this is crucially not I mean any time that that wrestler is in the ring He's, challenged, he's, he's been challenged for the US belt. I think that's an amazing thing, and I think that needs to stay. Yes, he can have a couple of weeks off, but if he's in that arena, then he has he has to fight, and I think that would be good to keep that with the United States. So then, And then it basically makes a difference between the US belt and the Intercontinental belt. How could they make the Intercontinental belt mean something? I don't know. That's for whatever whoever they put it on to, to come up with. That's for the writers to come up with it, ideally. But I think if they give it to Sheamus or Barrett or even Dolph Ziggler, it's the safe option. It is the it is the option um, that they can just park the championship on someone and it doesn't mean anything. Uh, so I think if they really want to take a risk, the, the, the it's the it's, it's the other three that I think that the championship needs to go on either Ryback, R Truth, or Rusev. Uh, maybe not R Truth, but definitely Rusev and Ryback. If they give that, if they put that championship on either of them, it could have the potential to mean something. If they put it on Dolph Ziggler or Barrett or Sheamus, it's just going to be business as usual. And I, I really don't really think that's going to work. So, again, I'm backing Ryback for, to come out the victor here. I think he's... Um, I think it's just... it's just It would be it would be good. It would be good for that to happen. So I'm going to go back Ryback. I know I'm probably going to be wrong. I know it's probably going to be Dolph Ziggler or, or Barrett or Sheamus, which is, again, the safe option and boring in my opinion. It's a it's a result I really don't want, but that's that's the result it probably will be. But I'm backing Ryback because I think that that will be a difference. That championship might become meaningful. Anyway, there are my predictions. I'm going to quickly run through who I think uh, is going to emerge victorious in all of their matches, uh, starting with the last one I mentioned. So Ryback, the prime time players, um, John Cena via DQ win. Uh, meaning Kevin Owens is going to attack it, uh, you know, be disqualified, and John Cena pick up the win. Uh, Seth Rollins is, I think, is going to emerge the victor in the championship match. Uh, Naomi and Neville, they're they're the, they're the victors this week, in my opinion. Uh, all the rest are losers, 
But again, time will tell, and I will be back tomorrow after the pay-per-view um, with my results show. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment down below, and let's let's have a like target. Let's see if I can get five likes. Just five likes. I just want five likes on this video. If you like this video, please like it. Thank you, and goodbye. Bye, 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 bye.